In this video, I am going to start session 2 Networking Fundamentals of Unit 4 Web Applications and Security. And in this session, first topic is Computer Network. So, a computer network is a collection of computers and other hardware components interconnected by communication channels, cables, or satellites that allow sharing of resources and information. This means that a computer network is simply a collection of two or more computers and other hardware components are also possible such as printer or a scanner and these computers and hardware components are connected to each other in the computer network by using wire such as cables and without wires also we can establish computer network such as Wi-Fi or Bluetooth and here because of establishing computer network we are able to share data or we can easily transfer data from one device to another that is there in the computer network as well as we can share hardware resources also those are there in the computer network such as printer scanner devices now here as you can see in this picture that all the computers are connected to one server so here all these computers can store their data in this server and because of this all the computers can access data of each other so here data sharing is possible because of this computer network as well as here software sharing is also possible and for this only we have to do one thing that whatever data or software we want to share with all the computers those are there in the network that we have to keep or install in the server that is there available at the center now second one here you can see this picture is an example of internet sharing so here only one internet connection this complete system is getting and thereafter this internet connection is provided to the switch via modem and thereafter from the switch it is provided to wireless router because of the wireless router three devices are getting their internet connection one tab laptop and a mobile phone and because of this switch three devices are getting internet connection in the left hand side two desktop and one laptop and here as printer and one server is also connected to the switch so that's why all the computers those are there in this complete network are able to access this printer as well as can access data from this server also so here because of this complete computer network internet sharing has become possible as well as software sharing because software we can install in the server and that can be accessed by all the computers those are there in the network thereafter data sharing is also possible and for that here as all the devices are connected to the switch and wireless routers so data can easily be transferred from one device to another and here with this whatever data is to be shared with all the computers that we can store in the server and thereafter from the server also all devices can access the data and here hardware sharing is also happening that as printer is connected to the switch so all the devices can use this printer for the printer so here because of this computer network internet sharing is possible software sharing is also possible thereafter data sharing hardware sharing so these all are the benefits users of this computer network are getting now after this next one is computer network architecture so whenever we have to establish computer networks so two different architectures are there one is peer to peer and second one is client server now as per the requirement we have to select or opt one computer network architecture now first one is peer to peer architecture networks in which all computers have an equal status are called peer to peer networks generally in such a network each terminal has an equally competent cpu so in peer to peer computer network architecture here all the computers have equal status all the computers have equal status means that all the computers are cpu are equally capable means their processing speed is same their storage capacity is also same so in this way here all the computers have equal status means their processing speed their storage capacity these all are almost same. so that's why here this is mentioned that all the computers have equally competent cpu means equally capable cpu so here in the peer-to-peer -peer architecture all the computers have equally capable cpu and here this peer-to-peer -peer computer network architecture is used to establish computer network whenever data sharing is only the objective or if we want to transfer data from one device to another so here you can see this picture is an example of a peer-to-peer -peer computer network architecture see here all the computers are connected to one network device that is hub so here because of this all the computers can easily transfer data or can easily exchange data with each other so here if computer a wants to send some data to computer c so that is possible so first of all this data will be transferred 
from A to hub and thereafter hub to C. So this is peer-to-peer -peer computer network architecture and this is this used whenever data sharing is only the objective or data transfer is only the object. Now after this next one is client server architecture. So client server architecture we are always opting whenever our objective is not only to transfer data from one device to another and here in the client server architecture various advantages of computer network we can easily achieve. So client server architecture is what networks in which certain computers have a special dedicated task providing services to other computers in the network are called client server networks. So here in the client server architecture actually one computer is there and that computer is providing services to all other computers. So such a computer network architecture is called client server networks. Now after this the computers which provide services are called servers and the ones that use these services are called clients. So in client server architecture as I have already told that one computer is there that is providing services to all other computers. So computer that is providing services is called server computer and all other computers those are getting services from this server computer are called client computers. So this is client server architecture. Now here we will see one picture of client server architecture. So here you can see that in the client server architecture, six client computers are there and one server computer is there. So all the client computers are connected to this server computer. So whatever data we want to share with all the client computers as well as applications, those we want all the client computers to use. So everything will be stored in this server computer and thereafter all the client computers are able to access it. As well as if we want to share here hard resource for example printer or a scanner so that also we have to connect with this server computer only and thereafter all the client computers can use that hardware device such as printer or a scanner so this is a client server architecture where one computer is providing services to all other computers so computer that is providing services to all computers is called server computer and all other computers those are using these services are called client computer and here in the client server computer network architecture we are getting many advantages or benefits of computer network after this next is computer networks so based on the geographical area computer networks are actually categorized into various categories but here we have two one is lan local area network and second one is van wide area network so a local area network is one which connects computers and devices in a limited geographical area such as home school computer laboratory office building or closely positioned group of buildings so actually this local area network is available in a very limited geographical area and this computer network is generally established inside a home or a school building or computer laboratory or office building or closely positioned group of buildings. So local area network is simply a computer network that is available in a very limited geographical area or very small geographical area and it is generally available inside the boundary of any campus. So we are establishing any computer network inside a home or inside the school campus or a computer laboratory or office building or if, if we are connecting computer networks of two buildings. So these all comes in the category of local area network. Now after this we have next wide area network. So a wide area network is the largest computer network in terms of geographical area. Now the definition is a wide area network is one which covers a broad area any network that links across metropolitan, regional or national boundaries. The internet is the most popular one. So wide area network is the largest computer network and this wide area network we can say that whenever we are connecting two computer networks of two different cities or two different states or two different countries. So as a result of that we are getting wide area network. And internet is the best example or popular example of wide area network. After this next one is internet. So internet is first of all one computer network only but in this computer network millions of computer networks are there worldwide. So worldwide millions of computer networks are connected or linked in one network and that is the internet. The internet is a global system of interconnected computer networks that use a standard internet protocol suit to serve billions of users worldwide. So here internet is simply a global system of interconnected computer networks means here in the internet millions of computer networks are connected and here in case of internet just to make this internet possible internet protocol suit is used and that is TCP IP transmission control protocol internet protocol. 
it is a network of networks that consist of millions of private public academic business and government networks so internet is simply a network of millions of computer networks and in these millions of computer networks many private public academic business and government networks are there so this is all about the internet now thereafter next is world wide web so actually world wide web abbreviated as www or w3 commonly known as the web is a system of interlinked hypertext documents accessed via the internet so actually hypertext documents are web pages so billions of web pages are there and these billions of web pages are there in one system and that the system is called world wide web and these web pages we are accessing via the internet now there are advantages of computer network there are various advantages of computer network and few are explained here first one is data sharing one of the most important uses of networking is to allow the sharing of data so as you have seen in the picture that i used to explain computer network there so in case of the computer network as all the computers are they are connected to each other somehow so that's why one computer can easily transfer data to other computer so that is data sharing so here data sharing is easily possible now in other way also data sharing is possible as you have seen client server architecture so whatever data we want to be accessed by all the users of the computer network so that we can put in the server computer and thereafter all the client computers can access that data so in this way data sharing is possible when we are establishing computer network next one is file transfer so as in the computer network all computers are connected to each other in some way so that's why one computer can easily transfer files to other computer so here file transfer is users can send text files spreadsheets files such as excel documents means word documents presentation files audio files video files etc to other users so because of the computer network file transfer is easily possible means one computer can easily transfer files to other computer next one is hardware sharing so in the computer network hardware can be shared very easily means if 10 computers are there and we have only one printer so we can share that single printer with all the 10 computers so in this way all the 10 computers can use the same printer to take the print out so hardware sharing is easily possible in the computer network so hardware components such as printers scanners etc can also be shared so whatever hardware we want for all the devices so there is no need to purchase for each device we can establish computer network and thereafter we can share it with all the devices those are there in the computer network next one is internet access sharing so when i explain computer network there this i have already explained that same internet we can share with many computers those are there in the network so in this way there is no need to purchase separate internet connection for each device only one internet connection we have to purchase and that we can share with all the devices those are there in the computer network so internet access sharing you can purchase a single internet connection and share it among other computers in a network instead of purchasing multiple internet connections for each computer so that is the benefit of the computer network that just purchase only one internet connection and thereafter that we can share with all the users those are there in the computer network next one is usage of network based applications so because of the computer network we are able to use network based applications now actually internet you have seen is one computer network only and because of the internet we are able to use various network based applications such as web browser so web browser is one application that we are using to access web pages next one is email clients so email clients so email clients are applications only and these applications we are using to open email on our system screen there are chat applications such as whatsapp we are able to use because of the internet and that is one computer network only after that audio and video calling so this is also possible because of the computer network that is internet and here we are using applications such as whatsapp or skype so these are the applications we are able to use because of the computer network that is internet and because of these applications usage we are able to do our work very easily so here first part of the session 2 i am ending and next part of the session 2 i will start in the next video so this video i am going to end here